While it is called Have Super Neat Alerts, I'm gonna show you this unique mix it up automation so that whenever someone follows, subs, resubs, gift subs, raids, or cheers your channel, your webcam frame, shape, or color can dynamically change. G'day everyone, it's me Drew and today we're going to be going through this mix it up automation. I'm not really going to waste too much time at the front of the video, so let's just jump right into it and start with branding. Now while I'm kicking this off with branding, it's not 100% requirement, but it is something that definitely helped me in deciding what I wanted my alerts to look like. Now recently I have gone through and done a full rebrand for my website, my socials, my Twitch streams, and all my YouTube content and everything, and I'll flash up what my homepage on my website looks like here. So now you can see that some of the core design elements of the design system are the colors and the shapes. So I wanted those to correlate back into my alerts. Now, for those of you that don't have a brand fully defined, this first step is really just deciding what you want your alerts to look like. Again, if you have a brand defined, you can kind of go along that route, along that design system route. But on the other hand, if that's not exactly your cup of tea, just have a bit of a think and think about what you want your alerts to look like before we start jumping in and creating those assets. So step two of this overall process is actually making these assets so we can put them into OBS and get them all configured with Mix It Up. Now for me, my design system is really using those colors and shapes as a core aspect of it. So as you can see down here, all of my alerts, I did use that core star, rounded star shape and using all the colors within the palette and making all these within After Effects and exporting them as transparent WebM videos. So now we have the video assets. The other part we want to think of is the audio and all the sound effects whenever your alerts play. Because if you don't have any sounds coming through whenever the alerts play, it is a bit quiet and it does feel a bit awkward and half done. So in terms of playing the sound effects, there are two ways in which you can do it. The first is putting it as a part of your mix it up automation, which does give you the benefit that you can easily swap out whichever sounds you want to use, or even if you want to do like a random rotation of sounds, you can get mix it up to control all of that. So while it is easy to change out in the future, I have found that it does get quite fiddly with the timing and everything. And for some reason, they can get very minuscule delays, which for me, I got the design eye. So whenever I notice it, it does kind of irritate me that little bit more. So the second way, which I'm actually going to swap over to is just adding that right in the WebM file. So it just plays straight through OBS and the timings are perfect. Now you might have noticed in some of the alerts that there is an empty space in the middle. So what I've done is I've actually set it up that the user's profile picture does display in that empty space rather than showing their name on the screen. A quick side note, I am planning on making a tutorial video of how to get user's profile pictures coming through as a mix it up overlay. So if that does sound like a cup of tea, I mean, the subscribe button's just down over there. You can just press it, it's not gonna hurt. So now that we have all our assets ready, we're gonna move on to step three in setting everything up in OBS. Now, as we're jumping into the tutorial, I'd just like to point out that this little smiley face image here, this is gonna represent our webcam. It's just so we don't get like an infinite loop situation going here. But the first thing we are gonna do is we're gonna jump in, we're gonna start adding all our masks and all our outline colors to our webcam. And one thing you wanna start doing here is right off the bat is that you wanna start applying these to a source mirror rather than your original source. Now, for those of you that don't know what a source mirror is, think of it as like a copy of your source. It's its own isolated instance of it that you can apply all these filters and transformations to without affecting your original source. So for example, if you have a setup like this that you wanna have your webcam frame here with the outline, your unique shape, However, on your just chatting scene, you want your webcam to be full screen with no other alterations. You would use on your just chatting screen, the original source, and then on your main scene, you would have a source mirror where you would have all those filters and extra effects applied to. And if you don't see this within your OBS, don't panic. It's not within the standard OBS options. It's actually a part of the stream effects plugin, which I will link down below for those of you that don't yet have it installed. So here we've opened up the filter for our webcam source mirror. And as I've had this pre-built already, I'm gonna enable each of these filters and effects one by one and let you know what each of them means. The first one we're gonna start off is with this crop pad. So if I enable that, you'll see that the webcam frame turns from 16 by nine to a one by one ratio. Now, I do find that this helps as all my webcam frame masks are all actually shaped to a one to one ratio. They're all framed as a square. 
So what this means is when I enable it, I don't have to worry about the shapes distorting or scaling or stretching or any of that matter. It's going to turn into the shape which I actually wanted to because the webcam source mirror has been already cropped to a one by one ratio. Next, you'll see that we have three masks. So we got the mask as a diamond shape, we got the mask as a star shape, and then the masks also as a hexagon shape. So again, naming conventions is gonna make your life so much easier later on. So I would recommend naming it appropriately rather than mask one, mask two, mask three. So let's just enable our star mask for now. And you'll see here we've added unique stroke colors as well. So we got a yellow stroke, we got the red stroke, we got a purple stroke and we got a green stroke. So I've made all of these strokes the same colors as I've used within my alerts because essentially what I want to do is that whenever the alert goes off that the stroke color or the outline color of the webcam turns into that and matches it. So essentially kind of also turns into like a last event for my stream. So by default, I'm just going to leave it as yellow um, just because the yellow and yellow looks nice and we're just going to close this up. So essentially that's what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to go into your filters for your webcam source mirror and you're going to want to add all your masks and all your unique effects there. Again, making sure that it's named appropriately because it will save you a lot of headache. And just to kind of bring it back to what we said before, as the branding isn't 100% necessary, we've used the same colors here, we've used the same colors within our alert, so it just makes everything a bit more cohesive and from a designer's perspective, just has that little bit of extra polish and an extra bit of finesse. Hey everyone, Future Drew here. I'm just quickly jumping in just to quickly show you what the crop settings are, the mask settings, and also the stroke settings for the filters we put on our webcam source mirror. Anyway, back to the video. So now that we have everything set up in our OBS, we're gonna go on to step four and we're gonna start setting up these mix it up automations. So now that we have OBS open, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the menu and we're gonna go into events. So essentially this is gonna be all the predefined events which mix it up can use and we're gonna essentially add commands for each of them. So you can already see that I already have some for whenever the stream stops, whenever someone follows, hosts, raids, subs, resubs, gifted sub, mass skips the sub, bits cheered, and also uh, hype train, start and ends. So you can do this for any of the above. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna run through the follow command because everything else uses the exact same template just with one or two settings changed. So now that we've got this open, let's run through it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to turn on the colored stroke that we want to be applied to our webcam. So as the follow alert is red, we're gonna turn on the filter stroke red. And again, this is where the naming conventions come really handy because all I have to do is in terms of to turn off the green one, just change it to stroke green, for yellow, stroke yellow, for purple, stroke purple following that all the way through, just make it a little bit easier for yourself in the future. One thing I've also found with Mix It Up is, and it's also just a little piece of advice I'll use, is just copy and paste everything anyway. You never know if you could put a smelling mistake in one place and then you kind of look at it and you don't really see it. So yeah, I'd recommend just copy and pasting all the filter names and source names and referring everything that way rather than manually typing it because there's always a possibility for human error. So now that we've run these filter settings to get the stroke outline, which we want, we're going to go down and essentially we're just going to turn on the video within our nested scene for our follow alert. So from there, we're going to play a sound and this sound is just getting selected to the specific output device of my Wavelink software with the specific volume amount. So again, if you have all your sounds coming directly through the WebM video file, you can just delete this action. However, if you want to kind of add that all manually controlled and configured with the mix it up, this is the element which you'll need. From there next, we have our display profile picture command, which I will leave download links to all of these templates and everything down in the description below. But again, we'll run through this specific nested command in a future video. So don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, so essentially this is just displaying the profile picture within the mix it up overlay. From there, immediately after that, Pretty standard, we're just gonna send a chat message in terms of welcome a newest follower. Thank you, absolute legend. We're going to wait, not 7.5 seconds, we're actually gonna wait 6.75 seconds, which this is what I was referring to earlier. Testing this, it can be a bit fiddly to figure out the timings of everything. Um, and this is actually pretty bad practice that I haven't updated this. 
Um, again, it's just kind of maintenance, internal maintenance, just making sure that all the command names and everything are labeled correctly. Um, so yeah, we're gonna wait that little bit so that the video can run. From there, we're gonna play the closing sound because I did want an intro and kind of like an outro sound to each alert. Again, going through the correct output device. We're gonna wait four more seconds and then we're gonna turn off the follow alert video so that if someone follows next, it's gonna turn itself on loop and start at the right place rather than going halfway through or anything like that. And now let's say if I open up the subscribe command just to show you what that looks like, it will follow the exact same flow. It's gonna turn on the yellow color, turn off the rest of them, turn on the video, play the sound, show the profile picture, send a chat message, wait 6.7 seconds, and then turn everything off. With this one, there is just a secondary message that gets sent, just uh, send as the streamer, so I just send a couple of emotes in the chat as well. But yeah, everything essentially follows all the same template from there. So again, these will all be linked in the description box below for you to download. Future Drew here again. I just kind of realized that I didn't actually show you what it looked like in the end. Um, I did quickly change up a couple of things, which I'll just show you now. We have turned on the video first, then changed the frame color. Um, I just realized the ordering kind of didn't make sense that it would quickly change color and then the video would come through. And then as well, I've just turned off the play sound command as I did edit all my um, alerts to have all the sounds within the WebM files themselves because yeah, I just wanted a little timing coming through the way I wanted it to. So if we quickly run this test, ta-da, you'll see it all working. We quickly do the subscribe one. Now, in terms of what I did just to make that little bit quicker when setting it up is that I got one perfect the way I wanted to, and then I exported all the actions to a file, and then I moved on to the next. So let's say I went to the rated one. When someone rated, I then just clicked this button here. I imported everything and then just moved up and down whatever I wanted to reshuffle and just reorder. I just changed a couple settings for visible and invisible, changed whichever video I was referring to, and then essentially moved on to the next. So I just made that overall process a little bit quicker rather than remaking every single one from scratch. But yeah, I want to show you how to set this up for my stream and also give you a bit more of an insight from a designer's perspective, how branding can help your stream, just in terms of making those little decisions and not just being overwhelmed with choices. But thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave those down in the comment section below. If you feel like you are a bit of a legend, you can always give this video a thumbs up and you could always subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. No pressure though. I do appreciate you sticking around for this video. It's me, Drew. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.